In this video we're going to look at MQTTT clean sessions and I've created a, a Python script um, to illustrate uh, the effects of clean sessions and we're going to use it to connect to a broker with the clean session flag set to true and the clean session flag set to false and we're going to look at what the broker does whether it remembers the client or whether it doesn't remember the client and whether it stores messages for the client or it doesn't store messages for the client and we're going to do that with various levels of quality of service so we're going to publish and subscribe with different levels of quality of service now this is what the manual says about clean sessions now clean sessions is set to true by default and under those circumstances the broker doesn't store any information about the client. Uh, when the client disconnects and all information about their client is removed from the broker. However, when the clean sessions flag is set to true, sorry, when the clean sessions flag is set to false, then the broker does store information about the client. It stores information about the topics the client was subscribed to. And that means that when the client disconnects and reconnects, it doesn't have to resubscribe to the topics because the brokers remember them. It also, under certain circumstances, stores um, messages for the client. And whether or not it stores messages depends on the quality of service that the message was published with and the quality of service that the client subscribed. And we're going to look at the, those um, examples using the, with using the Python script. Uh, this is the Python code for um, creating the, the client instance and that, that's where you set the clean session flag to true or false and by default it's, it's set to true. Now in the Python script demo that we're going to look at in a minute um, I've got two clients um, that are configured as part of the same script and one client, client 1, is, is used to subscribe to topics and client 2 is used to publish. Okay, so let's have a, a look at the script. Uh, so here's the script here and I'm not going to take you through the script uh, in detail but what I've done in the script is I've put a few uh, breaks in there so we can step through the script um, and we can talk about it as we as we step through it. Okay, so I'm going to run the script from within the Python IDE. Okay, um, the first thing it's doing is it's connecting with a clean session of true. Uh, so client one is subscribing with clean session set to true, which is the default behavior. And then I subscribe to the topic and then I publish on the topic and then you can see that I've received the message on that topic now that's normal publish and subscribe we have to subscribe before we publish to receive the message now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate the fact that the, the client doesn't remember anything sorry the broker doesn't remember anything about the client because I'm going to disconnect the subscribing client and then I'm going to reconnect the client and then publish and we should find that we don't see any messages because the broker doesn't remember that the client um, subscribed to those topics. So here we go. So disconnect. Now I reconnect but I don't subscribe and I publish and notice we haven't received a message and that's to be expected because the broker hasn't remembered the topics that I subscribe to. Okay now we're going to do the same thing but we're going to do it with um, clean sessions session flag set to false so again I subscribe to the topic publish a message and then I receive the message which is weeks as expected and now I'm going to do the same process I'm going to disconnect and then reconnect without subscribing and then I'm going to publish another message and test that okay so we disconnected we actually published the message while we were disconnected and now we're going to reconnect and don't subscribe and then we publish another message this time while we were connected and you can see the message received now message 3 got received but message 2 didn't get received and that's what that has demonstrated is that the broker has remembered that I've subscribed to certain topics 
but it hasn't stored any messages for me and it hasn't stored any messages for me because I'm using quality of service zero but it does remember the topics I subscribe to because if I had if it doesn't remember them then when I publish this message here then I wouldn't have received it back because I connected but I didn't subscribe there okay now we're going to publish with quality of publish and subscribe with quality of service one and we're going to demonstrate the fact that broker does remember the oh, sorry does store uh, messages for the for the client now we're going to subscribe and we're going to subscribe to quality service one and we're going to subscribe to another topic called bulb two and then we're going to disconnect the client which we've done here and now we're going to publish a message while the client's disconnected and we're going to publish again on bulb two and again with quality of service one now let's reconnect the client we're not going to subscribe and you can see that the message gets received so that demonstrated two things it's demonstrated that the brokers remembered what I subscribed to and it's also demonstrated the broker has stored uh, a message for me so it stored that message and delivered that message uh, when I reconnected that's the end of the video um, if you've got any comments then use the comment form below um, you can also like or unlike the video using the like buttons uh, if you want to be informed of, of new videos then you can subscribe to the channel until next time uh, bye